Hey everyone, it's Designer Lily here. Today I am so excited to do another ab critique and it's been a while since I've done one of these so it's good practice for me as well. And I love Postmates. I never really got the appeal until the pandemic started. <laughs> and what I love about Postmates is that they enable anyone to buy food locally and get it delivered in under one hour. And especially now since we are all working remotely or most of us are at home or most of us may be probably working later in the night than we used to, we can get our food made and delivered to us while we're working instead of breaking our flow and then going to the store or going to a restaurant and then paying for an Uber or a bus driver or whatever to get there and then come back. And it's oftentimes, well, almost always, at least in San Francisco, it's cheaper to use Postmates and get the meal than it is to go over to a particular district that may be far away and then getting the food yourself. Like unless the restaurant is located next door, usually it's more time efficient or affordable to actually get it through Postmates. So an Uber back and forth now because of the pandemic, it's all X's, meaning you have to get a single car yourself. There's no shared rides. So even just purely the cost, aside from the time factor, you're spending more money getting the food than if you just use Postmates. And right off the bat, what I love about Postmates is that overall the layout is simplistic. So at the very top, we have delivery and pickup. And I personally never use the pickup option because I don't mind calling a restaurant on the phone and then ordering, but I can see how people who may be less inclined to <laughs> want to call someone random and talk on the phone can use the option. But at the very top we have pickup and delivery wow what's surprising about pickup is that it shows you a map and it's kind of like uber where you're able to see what's near you and the map itself it's designed the same way as uber so i think they integrated it when they acquired postmates and then at the bottom we have coffee and tea bakery sushi asian japanese it's a little odd why they would put coffee and tea because right now it's like 10 p.m and also bakery and all bakeries are closed i assume this is a popular option during the day and one of the most popular categories but i would say if there was a little bit more polish to that there probably could be more categories shown that were relevant to the time that you have selected but anyways i just want to do an overview of everything before i go into too much detail so let's start with delivery where at the very top you have now and an address and then we have restaurants grocery which is like I guess they're competing line with Instacart. Promo, alcohol, pharmacy. So they're trying to expand beyond just restaurants. And then they have my favorites, Wingla, Marcellus. But that's kind of weird that they put that because I only ordered that once. So I don't think the algorithm is super great because these places have only ordered one each. And the place that I order often from, it's actually not shown here. And then we have the promo to join membership. And then we also have a deal that's going on so let's see what that is about and it's just basically promos that different restaurants in the area are running and uh, that's all right I guess makes sense that's the second card because the first card about having a limited membership or a membership that allows you to save on fees is a lot more appealing so let's just see what's new on postmates oh actually before we go in there we see a little banner that has a little promo for the overall delivery experience so if you spend a certain amount you can get up to $15 off shout out to Freddie Tang for designing this banner and he used to work for Uber Eats and is someone I knew from program that we attended together but we see what's new on Postmates and we have eight orders until a reward so we have the promos here and then popular near you and restaurants so right now they're trying to fit a lot of in so it used to be that I was just focused on restaurants and it was already a lot going on and now they have groceries and convenience and delivery I think the way it's laid out could make a little bit more sense for example since i am looking at restaurants right now at least from my favorites to the deals then suddenly i jump to on demand for alcohol and i don't drink so if i've never ordered alcohol before i am surprised why they try to push that up for popular near you and i'm assuming other people in my area do that but it hasn't accounted to the fact that what i've purchased in the past historically has not included this option at all so Maybe they're just offering it to see if I am someone who would convert to buying alcohol from them or other convenience aspects. But if they see that I've ignored this banner every single time I scroll through it, that should be a signal that I'm not someone who would purchase, like I am someone who would only purchase restaurant items. So I guess maybe they're not 
A-B testing that yet and they're just having one landing page or landing page style for everyone but not ideal and then we see it jump from that to different kinds of cuisine and then different cultures of cuisine and then grocery and then more liquor it's just a lot because then we have also different categories of food now I'm a little confused of what these categories are for latest deals are from reward rewards because we've already seen categories earlier i believe oh i see the only categories earlier were convenience alcohol and pharmacy okay so this category used to be at the top and they moved it to the bottom but then what i see right below that is a convenience store so it's just a lot of stuff going on and honestly at this point i'm not even looking at the way it's organized to find what i'm looking for i'm just trying to look for keywords and photos like I can't I'm not rely on for example if I wanted food I would go to the top section if I want a convenience I'll scroll to the middle at the bottom like there's no real logic to it from what I'm seeing seems like they're just putting whatever is out there out there and then we have evening faves this homepage is just so long and I guess if you're looking for something to eat maybe you would scroll through all the way and then see what you're feeling like ordering but wow that is a long page and we got more browser search so right off the bat I would say that this page is probably the way it is because there's so many priorities and the simplest easiest way to do that is just to put them all in one landing page instead of really taking the time to organize them based on usage per user or for example, if a user like me is a really heavy restaurant shopper, then there could be a home landing page where it's catered to that. So the cuisine would be moved all the way up. And then the focus of this page would be my different restaurants I like and then the favorites I have. So it's kind of like, you know how when you go into home feed, posts are recommended based on what you liked before and kind of comments you've liked before, like even YouTube comments, a lot of times it's based on profile and it shows you what you've liked before. So the comments are similar to that, they'll push it up or the type of users that you've interacted with before, if they're similar, they may push their comments up. But maybe something like that where like the food I've liked before, for example, I really like Vietnamese food. If I've historically bought a lot of Vietnamese food, maybe they can show me more listings that are similar in that nature. And instead of showing me convenience and alcohol, if I'm someone who's several times been on this app and never ordered and I've seen it before, then that may be a signal that I'm someone who fits the restaurant profile. And then someone who is like the convenience profile, they may have a profile that's catered to them for all the items that they would shop on convenience and then maybe a hybrid with restaurants. And if someone buys a lot of alcohol, maybe there's like a hybrid of alcohol restaurants or whatever that they use but i think obviously that takes a lot of time to build so the way this is set up right now the amount of resources they have as a company is just to have one landing page maybe for everyone maybe but it's just a lot of wasted real estate because at the bottom i'm never gonna go through this i'm just gonna go to search right away and i guess that's not too much an issue at least from my end because if i can find what i need i'm gonna buy it anyway so it's not like a deal breaker but for someone who's new and coming in who doesn't use search or doesn't understand what is nearby and they're trying to look for that like one very specific restaurant that would want to eat like for example maybe they're looking for something that's vegan and that has a lot of vegetables and they're trying to find a restaurant like that here it's gonna take a while to to find so the homepage wouldn't help them at all they would just have to go to browse and even in browse the filters are more random as well it doesn't really have a certain logic to it i guess maybe because of the food i've bought in the past but i've ordered like pizza like twice so that's kind of weird and i've ordered a lot of asian food so it's kind of weird that they're showing only chinese and then they have fast food and mexican and then restaurant rewards which seems like a very business centric thing to do but not really for me and then latest deals definitely a business centric thing to do because i think i've used like one deal before and that wasn't even something that i would like like go out of my search it was like five dollars off an order and going back to the offer we have here we have a claim promo shout out to freddie again so freddie used to work at uber eats and this is one of the features he designed meta through a program that we mutually attended together but his project for this little banner was like so much more than you expect so you see this and it looks really simple right like this is what i mean by product design this whole part was like a whole project and there was a lot of variations there was a lot of work that went into this because there's like multiple variations where like if a certain promo has certain variables then how do you show that how do you make the copy clear and not confusing what's the best way for someone to claim that promo and then the final solution is this little banner and there was other variations where you could claim it sort of like a lottery thing or it'd be a pop-up banner that he explored but he talked about it with me and uh it's pretty cool to see that uh, now his design lives on even though he's no longer uber so i talked about the delivery page let's go to pick up so i think for the sake of this critique i'm gonna stick with these two because this is already a lot and my biggest critique for delivery is 
if they were able to section things better in terms of fitting the profile of the user. So I'm sure they have certain personas of different users. Like there's one that just goes at late at night and then buys restaurant food or like convenience. Like they're like a late night shopper. That's what they use Postmates for. Then maybe a profile could be catered to them. And if someone who is like a healthy eater who works a lot, that could be another profile. Maybe it would be like the restaurant profile that I mentioned before with a lot of filters that would be relevant to that person. We have in pickup, we have different restaurants that are available and it, from what I'm seeing it's probably by distance and for some reason there's a lot of pizza options because what's nearest near me is pizza and then they got like chicken tenders and french fries and I'm really surprised why they're recommending me this because historically the restaurants I've selected the most are Asian restaurants as I mentioned before with vegetables with like a lot of healthy options perhaps what's near me are all the options that are really unhealthy so that's why they're showing me this but if it's just by location it's not super great because it's just listing the closest restaurants near me that are open at this time but it's not listing them based on my preference so i would rather travel a little bit further and go to a restaurant that has more of my taste then go somewhere nearby and they all have this pizza. And don't get me wrong, I love pizza, but I get pizza once in a blue moon. Maybe twice a year I order the pizza like for myself. Any other time I eat it when it's available or it's like for free at some kind of event, but I tend to not like to pay for pizza, at least on delivery. And I think the cards, the way it's shown right here, is pretty standard, but I do wish that they put some more patterns that are available on the delivery where there's more of like smaller cards. You see how here you could like see more cards. Maybe there could be a section, fast food, Asian, but I think it's because the delivery and pickup team are probably separate and then the pickup team may still need to use some of the components maybe the delivery has and maybe the engineers for the pickup haven't coded those car patterns at the swipe throughs and that's just something that delivery has. In the future, I can't imagine why they wouldn't integrate it. I bet they would. But just for the sake of time, let's look at delivery because delivery is the most interesting one. Let's go on one of those cards. Okay, let's see. Wing Lum Restaurant. Um, I've used this really restaurant once and what's great about this listing is that right off the bat I'm looking at their menu and I like that it's straightforward that there's no obstruction and it gets right to the point menu search that's great then we have the ratings at the top which is also great because I love looking at ratings and I feel like if you want to know how good a restaurant is by the quickest glance ratings is like one of the fastest would do it and then we have time so we have pick for you which I'm guessing are their top selling items the best selling I'm not really sure why it's for me because I haven't ordered any of these things or anything like this like fried rice I never order then we have best-selling and then we have dim sum chef special soup etc so what I've noticed about Postmates is that it seems that with Postmates the way they've curated things is that they allow restaurants essentially to upload whatever items they want and then allow them to take photos of whatever items they want but there's not really a quality control aspect happening like I remember in DoorDash and some of the other apps there's more photos show so my guess is that photos are not required for most restaurants and it's kind of up to them of how they want to list things and organize everything but then because of that flexibility there's also not as much of the follow-up which is the quality control part of making sure all the items are well photographed or organized a certain way there's less of that which I can understand because then you would have to hire more people and then make more of a team but that's something as a user I I would like to see a little bit more because even though certain items like hot and sour soup are universally pretty similar I still would like to know what ingredients are going in there and it's like basically empty like chicken cords you're like what is in there basically empty it's just a listing and maybe if I knew more of what ingredients go into these items I wouldn't be surprised there's been times where I order something off Postmates and it was like supposed to be eggplant and then it came and it was like eggplant but with all this other extra stuff that I didn't want in it so I ordered like garlic eggplant I thought it was gonna be garlic and eggplant like I wanted the eggplant right it comes and it's like fried wheat stuff and I don't eat wheat so if I eat wheat it's like always by choice it's like very selective by like my cheat days but it came in with a lot of wheat material with a lot of like filler material and it was like some egg pot and I was really not happy with that because the way it tasted was also not garlic it was like sweet and sour so that's what I mean by quality control if they have more listings with photos and then with maybe requirements for ingredients either allergies wouldn't be triggered and also people wouldn't be surprised by what they're getting and then that could result in less contact for customer support then we have at the top dim sum chef special soup so it's pretty straightforward here i do think that when they're scrolling through it's a little easier to get mixed up of what is a category and what's a list item because if you scroll like this it basically all just blends in to be the same so this part makes sense i do wish there's more of a divider within the menu itself like maybe a line under 
under each of the categories, sort of like at the top where you see this gray line. Maybe you can borrow that pattern and then put it under like chicken, beef, shrimp, etc. I love the search bar because this saves you so much work to find something. Ooh, let's see, let's see, we've got eggplant. Oh, they do have eggplant, but then sadly no description. But they do have free lookingly bought together. So what I'm looking at this page is for the ingredients how it tastes, maybe some notes, and then frequently brought together would be the last thing that's on my mind. That would be like something the business may really care about so that I would buy more, but as a customer right now, that's like the least of my concerns. Let's see what happens when I add to cart. Okay, we have to save 25%. Cool, cool, utensils, etc. Okay, so everything else is pretty straightforward. I'm not gonna go and check out, I'm just saying on this page. We have delivery and then pickup. So when you have pickup, you are able to locate where it is and then have someone a map guiding you, and that's the Uber map. Everything else is pretty straightforward. I think my biggest feedback for the menu is having more of a quality control in terms of how things are listed, maybe having some kind of check-in, if not hiring a team, but at least maybe some kind of way for the software itself to check in when things are being uploaded. For example, maybe requiring that ingredients should be filled in because of, again, allergy triggers is the biggest thing. And then the second thing is the expectation is not being met in terms of taste and gradients, etc. And then that would reduce the customer workload, which is what I mentioned before. And then perhaps also at the very top, we can like have things that talk a little bit more about the restaurant instead of it right now looking like a generic Chinese restaurant, maybe more about what this restaurant specializes. So instead of pick for me, maybe it's like best selling what people really like coming here to get and then what they as a restaurant feel like they specialize. Maybe a little video part or a little bit about the restaurant part where I can learn a little bit about the history. Maybe the chefs are cooking my food. More of a personalization aspect behind it where if a restaurant wants to add that for themselves and add a video or anything like that place to customize themselves and set themselves a little apart from competitors even that little bit to customize themselves from their competitors i think would be something that a lot of restaurants would enjoy and the customers who are shopping there would enjoy as well because then you're really learning about the local community and whole space mission includes bringing food from local communities to users. So I think that would be a value add, not only for the customers, but also for the restaurants and ultimately serving their mission better. So I talked about here in the delivery section where I wish there was better categorization of whole entire homepage based on the user that's browsing. And if they have personas of certain users, then at the very least, they should A-B test for landing pages and see the effectiveness. Maybe they are A-B testing me with this page, but I've seen this page a few times and I'm not clicking on anything other than restaurants. So I'm surprised that they keep trying to show this page to me so my gut is it's probably not an AB test it's probably their actual default landing page but who knows and the pickup itself what can work better is that if they incorporate more of the categories and in terms of pickup what they could do better is having better categories depending on the time that someone is viewing this. So for example, if it's late night, don't show bakery and coffee and tea because that's not something somebody would get at that time. And then for the cards, maybe incorporate more of the cards from the delivery page because then someone can see more listings without scrolling like 50 plus listings because the cards are too big. That was my quick critique of Postmates. I think this is a great exercise for anyone just to practice on their own. And it's been a while since I've done one of these. So again, I'm also brushing up on doing these app critiques, but if you're a product designer or designer general and you have some parts of the area that you wish I focus on let me know below and you can probably practice this on your own as well and then post a video of you doing postmates I would love to watch as well but if you all want to see more of me and more videos like this click that subscribe button and that notification bell so I can see y'all next time bye <laughs>